Welcome to another Ziva Math video. This video will focus on identifying and calculating the constant of proportionality from equations, graphs, tables, and word problems. The constant of proportionality is the ratio between two proportional quantities. It is also the constant rate of change, and it is a unit rate. When there is a proportional relationship between x and y, the relationship can be described using the equation y equals kx. The constant of proportionality is represented by the variable k and can be found using the formula k equals y over x or y divided by x. It is also important to note that your linear graphs that go through the origin represent proportional relationships and will have a constant of proportionality. Let's take a look at our examples. In this example, we're going to find the constant of proportionality for the following scenario, a scenario that's given to you in a table. So for instance, if you're flying on an airline, this is the cost for the number of bags that you are checking. One bag costs 25, two costs 50, and so on. And we need to find the constant of proportionality. Well, we had a formula for that. That formula was k equals y over x. So in our table, we're going to need to determine which is our y values and which are our x values. Well, your x values are your independent variables. So the number of bags is going to be your x value because the cost is determined by the number of bags. So that's your dependent variable, and that will be y. So to solve for the constant of proportionality, you're just going to need to choose one of these data points. And highly recommend that you choose the data point where x equals 1 because it'll make your calculations easier. So then we'll take our y value of 25 and we'll put it in place of y. Then we'll take our x value of 1 and put it in place of 1. And then we simply divide 25 by 1, which is 25. So our constant of proportionality is 25. Now, if you have a proportional relationship, remember this constant of proportionality is your ratio between x and y. So we can solve for our constant of proportionality for any point, any data pair. And if you have a proportional relationship, your constant of proportionality will always be the same. So we can solve for the constant of proportionality where we have two bags for the cost of $50. So we'll have k equals y over x again. And we are going to put $50 in for y. We'll put $2 in for x. And 50 divided by 2 is 25, which we would expect. If this is a proportional relationship, our constant of proportionality should be the same no matter what data point we choose. And we can look again at three bags for $75. Well, our three bags is our x. So it'll go on the bottom. Y is 75. So 75 will go on top. The three will go on the bottom. And 75 divided by three is 25. So this table in this scenario is a proportional relationship. And our constant of proportionality is 25. In this example, we'll find the constant of proportionality for the following scenario given to us in a table where we have the number of burritos being eaten and the calories consumed with that number of burritos. So three burritos is 240 calories, four burritos is 320 calories, and so on. So to find the constant of proportionality, we need to use that formula k equals y over x. And in order to calculate our constant proportionality, we've got to determine which are the x values and the y values in the table. Our x value is our independent variable, so our number of burritos, because our y value calories depends on how many burritos are being eaten. So calories is y. So now we need to choose which data point we're going to use. And you can choose any of them. So I'm going to use 240 calories, and that is our y value. It's going to go on top for three burritos. 
which will go on the bottom, but you can use any of these. If, for instance, if you feel like working with the five is an easier calculation for you, choose five burritos and 400 calories. Because our next step, once we put 240 in place of y and three in place of x is to divide. And 240 divided by three is 80. You can also calculate the constant of proportionality from data given to you in a graph. So the first thing to remember is your constant of proportionality. The formula for that is k equals y over x. So in our graph, we need to choose a point so we can use the x and y values and plug them into our equation for the constant of proportionality. And using the point where x equals 1 is going to give you the easiest calculation. So I'm going to use the point 1, 5 from this graph. And 5 is my y value, so I'm going to put 5 in place of y. 1 is my x value, so I'll put 1 in place of x, which gives me 5 over 1, or 5 divided by 1. So my constant of proportionality is 5. Remember, you can use any point in the graph, but if you use the point where the x value is 1, you have a much easier calculation. In this example, we're going to find the constant of proportionality using values from a graph. And the first thing we need to remember is that formula for our constant of proportionality, which is k equals y over x. So I'm going to need to choose a point from my graph so I can use the x and y value and plug them into this equation. We have suggested before that you want to use the point where x equals 1 for an easier calculation. But sometimes on a graph, you need to choose a point on a grid line, a place where the grid lines cross so you know exactly what values you have. So rather than choosing the point where x equals 1, I'm going to choose the point where x is 2 because it's on the grid line. So we're going to use the point 2, 16, which means I have 16 for my y value. I have 2 for my x value. So then I'll need to divide 16 by 2 to solve for k. And 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So our constant of proportionality is 8. A recipe uses two cups of sugar to make four batches of cookies. What is the constant of proportionality that represents the number of batches of cookies y to the number of cups of sugar x? Well, we're being asked to find our constant of proportionality, and we have a formula for that. That formula is k equals y over x. And so once we have our formula, we know we're going to need a y value and an x value. And this problem is really helpful. It tells us that our y values are going to be our batches of cookies. And it also tells us that our x values will be the number of cups of sugar. So if I need to fill in my y value, I need to look for the batches of cookies being made. Well, that's four batches. So y is going to be four. And then our x value was the number of cups of sugar being used. And so back to our problem, we see we're using two cups of sugar. So I'm going to substitute 2 in for x to complete my calculation. So now I have 4 over 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my constant of proportionality is 2. A hiker walked a distance of 7 miles in 2 hours and 14 miles in 4 hours. Calculate the constant of proportionality. Well, we have a formula for our constant of proportionality, which is k equals y over x, which means we need an x value and a y value in order to be able to solve for k or to solve for our constant of proportionality. Looking back at our problem, we know that our hiker walked 7 miles in 2 hours and 14 miles in 4 hours. So our time is going to be our x because our time is our independent variable. 
and our miles walk depends on the hours. So our miles walked will be Y. And it doesn't matter whether you choose 14 miles in four hours or seven miles in two hours. I'm going to choose seven miles in two hours, which means seven is my Y value. The two is my X value. And so my constant of proportionality is seven halves or seven over two. If you need to turn it into a decimal, then you would divide seven by two, but it's perfectly all right for your constant of proportionality to be a fraction. You can be asked to identify the constant of proportionality in a given equation. Remember, your equation for proportional relationships is y equals kx, where k is your constant of proportionality. And your constant of proportionality is always going to be in the same place if you have a proportional relationship. So looking at y equals 3x, the 3 is in the place where we see the k. 3 is your constant of proportionality. With y equals negative 2 and 5 tenths x, your constant of proportionality is in the same place, but it is negative. You have to include that negative sign, so your constant of proportionality is negative 2 and 5 tenths. And with y equals 3 fourths x, the 3 fourths is in the position where you'll see the constant of proportionality, so the 3 fourths is your constant of proportionality. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.